What's up guys, I'm Nomadic, and today we're at the second episode of the Ableton series. So for those of you guys, if this is your first episode you're watching, uh, just keep in mind this whole thing is a series, everything flows up until this point. So start right back at the beginning so you can kinda, you didn't miss anything. So today we're gonna be talking about warping. And the reason why warping is so important if you're making hip hop music is because warping really lets you uh, you know, time stretch and, and shift your audio clips so it sounds really um, you know, on the grid and exactly how you want it to sound. So for hip hop music this is extremely important and I think Ableton is actually the best program for this type of feature. So uh, let's get into it. Okay so let's actually get started making this beat. So I have this stem that I got from a friend and I'm just gonna pull it up in the file browser over here so I'm just scrolling through my desktop and it's this one right here. So you can just click your your audio files and Ableton will just automatically play it. So this is the one I want to use and this is just like a straight just guitar melody, right? So I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to drag and drop it right here on this audio clip on the first square. So basically this this thing right here is now called a clip, right? And a clip is basically just a little condensed piece of information. It doesn't have to be audio, it doesn't have to be like MIDI notes. So a clip can be anything, but in this instance this clip is just this this audio snippet that I have, right? So I'm just gonna go here, I'm gonna double click on it to open it up. And as you can see right here, this is just the the guitar sound. So the goal for this is we wanna have this audio be matched to our BPM because our BPM right now is at 95. If you click this button, this turns the metronome on and off. So if I just hit space and play it, if you just hit the play button, you can play it. So it's not it's not lined up, right? So we have some work to do. So the best thing about Ableton is this thing called warping, and I'm going to show you how to do that really quickly. So if you just go over here and you click the button that says warp, it'll let you take this audio and basically mangle it and reshape it to whatever speed or timing you want. And I'll show you how to do that. So the way it works is if you scroll in like this, you can create what's called a warp marker. And this this yellow thing right here, this is what's called a warp marker. So you can you can actually create them wherever you want. And the key is to put them right on the beat of wherever it is in the audio is where you want to put a warp marker so you can you can shift it and put everything in, in time nicely. So I'm going to turn the metronome off and I'm just going to play it. So that part right there when the guitar comes in that's like that's like the one, right? So it's like one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. So that's the timing that we want. So I'm going to put a warp marker right when the guitar hits right here, just by double clicking it. And this is actually the, the laziest, quickest way to do it. You put it on the one, you right click, and then you say warp from here straight. And right click and then say set 1.1.1 here. So basically what the computer just did was it took this warp marker on the one, it put it right in the beginning of the grid, right at the beginning of the timing, and it also warped it to the BPM of the project. Right now it's set at 95 BPM. So if you play it now, this 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 one right here sets where it plays when you hit the space button or you hit the play button here or up here it'll just play it right from there. Turn on the metronome, you'll see. So the timing is good now and you can actually even play with it some more if you don't if you don't if you want it to be twice as fast or twice as slow. Uh, you could actually just crop that section out. And let's say that's hypothetically that's the only section I want to use for this beat. So I'm just going to have this going. And I just want four bars. So I'm going to take this one. This is like the loop selector. I'm just going to shift it to just be four bars. So this is four bars. I'm going to click this button that says loop. And it'll just keep looping. It'll just keep going. So 
I'm just going to right click, I'm going to crop it. So this is all I need right now to build a beat. Just something to start out with, right? And let's say I want it twice as fast. If you want it twice as fast or twice as slow, you can hit one of these buttons and then it'll just change the timing. Or twice as slow, hit it twice. So you get the point. And I can make it faster, I can change the global BPM to like 130 or something. And that's kind of how it sounded before, but now it's actually on time. So that's good. So we got that warped and it sounds good. Alright, I hope that was helpful. I hope that met your warping desires. In the next episode, we're going to get straight to the point and we're going to start talking about how to chop an Ableton MPC style. So, see you next week. Here to remind you motherfuckers just how ill I am. I am legend Will Smith with this will I am. A cold-blooded killer, ULT is still my clan. Took flight and told him hold it down until I land. Still I am a lyrical tactician. I'm back spitting. They lack vision, their tracks missing with whack dissing.